everybody, this is Terry Darty with the Mom's Choice Awards, and I am in the booth this morning with Julia Cook, award-winning author of many books, including Tea's Monster. And we also have Kirby with us this morning. How are you guys? How are you? Great. Kirby still doesn't look like he's, she's got everything. Yeah, like she's, she's super happy. pretty mellow. <laughs> Now you were talking yesterday about Kirby being a service dog. She is a service dog. Children are easily lured by dogs. And I have a book called Smarter Than the Scoopers and it teaches kids not to get kidnapped. And so I have to use a real dog to say, you wouldn't run up to a dog, would you? No, I would never do that. Oh really? And you show them Kirby. And you know, because the scooper won't pick an ugly dog to trick you. They're gonna. No. So she's a certified canine assist dog for kidnap prevention. And I go to a lot of schools and she, joins me. Cool. Now, I'm sure you've shared Tease Monster in school. Yes. What is the thing about the story that really sort of sticks with the kids? Well, oftentimes kids are, are teased and they think they're being bullied, or they're bullied and they think they're being teased. It's the difference between teasing and bullying. And there's two types of teasing. There's nice teasing and mean teasing. Nice teasing adds to your life and mean teasing, which is bullying, takes away from your life. So it helps kids better define you know, teasing is not all bad. I mean, there, there are some types of teasing that helps you get over difficult situations and it builds character. So it, it's like math, it adds to your life sometimes, but it also takes from your life. So that's the difference and it defines it for kids and teaches them how to be perceived by others more effectively as well. Yes. Now, the last time we were here, we had talked, I had met RJ. RJ, yeah. Now, is RJ still doing? RJ's doing great, and he there's a seventh book for RJ called, we just did one called Thanks for the Feedback, but the latest one is, I can't believe you just said that, and it's on the social filter. And you have your great thinking compliment. bubble, and you have your talking bubble, and there's a filter in between, and your thinking bubble has words that are just for you. Your talking bubble has words for everybody, and so you can't. You got to make sure that your words filter through, so that you know you don't say the wrong thing. Yeah, so. I've been known to say, "Oh, was that my outside voice?" Yes, you know, exactly. Or my you know, out loud voice, out something loud like. Voice. Yep. Yeah. Now, what's next? I, we, you were talking about Decibella. We have Decibella and the six-inch voice. You know, kids need to become voice volume experts. They can't scream, and sometimes they don't know how loud they are. So Decibella. Her name is Isabella, but they call her Decibella, cause, and she has no idea why, but she becomes a voice volume expert. And now, it's interesting because you've got, I mean, with Tease Monster and the RJ books and now Decibella, there's clearly... It's three series of books, actually. Yeah. Yes. But it seems to me, having a daughter with on the spectrum, the, those books and how they're presented will be particularly valuable for giving them these really hard, subtle concepts. They, kids they are very literal and they model positive parenting strategies in the book. So if you do and say what the parent does in the book, you do and say the right things. And then they model positive kids strategies in the book. So if you're a kid and you have the same problem as the kid in the book does, and you do what the kid in the book does to solve their problem, you become a problem solver as well. Well, I could definitely use some more problem solving, so I'm gonna have to pull out some new books. All right, well, proud to be mom's choice. I love you guys, you're well, great. Thank, thank you, you very much. Glad you were able to stop by. Thank you, it was fun.